Hello, and welcome to the Tibby Show. So, we just passed 1,000 subscribers. Um, that's really crazy and something I didn't think would happen. Uh, especially so soon. Uh, thank you guys, thank you. Also, regarding the uh, Polish video that I made, um, apparently it got spread around in Poland, and uh, I'm sorry for calling the government sanitation when it's what S sanity sana sanation sanation um and then in my iceland video <laughs> apparently i mispronounced all the cities of iceland uh good luck danish people i hope you enjoy your video ah uh, denmark my new favorite nation in all of hoi for it's really chill it's just very 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 fun especially now that they updated it. So our focus is pretty interesting. Yeah, so we have this shared Nordic branch if we're in a faction with another Nordic. Unfortunately, we won't be. We have our military branch, we have our political branch, and we have a small industrial branch, which mixes in with the uh, left side of the political branch. Yeah, this is this is a very fun uh, focus tree. So we're going to be doing historical Denmark, meaning we're going to be reaffirming neutrality, political unity, unity, and we're going to be doing the policy of disarmament. The only bad thing about doing this focus is as soon as World War II begins and we are invaded, we get the option to surrender and become a puppet of Germany just like that. Um, as soon as we get this event, Iceland breaks free, and if we say no to becoming a puppet, we lose 15 stability, which is honestly very annoying, but we can handle it. We'll deal. The first thing I always like doing, though, is going down some of my military branch, just because if we sign the... I can't even pronounce that, I'm not even going to try. Uh, and then if we expand the Varner Blighton, this, this gives us 5% war support, this gives us 5% war support, that's 10 total, we'll get up to 25, uh, then we can very quickly move on to partial mobilization, which is very awesome as Denmark. So I'm going to be having a couple of rules for this game. Uh, rule number one is I can only build civilian factories. I can't build any military factories. The military factories that I start with and the military factories that I get in my focus tree, such as these ones, uh, those ones are fine. I can keep those, I can use those. I just can't build more. Now we all know land forts uh, are some of the best ways to prevent the AI from attacking. So I'm going to make a rule. No land forts above say level five. No land forts above level five. Yeah, so I guess that's gonna be it. Let's try to make Denmark just the best nation that I possibly can. Uh, I do wanna get some tanks as Denmark. Tank Denmark is a lot of fun, especially now with this new update. It's more possible than ever before. So as Denmark, we're dealing with a few issues. We have the Danish industrial capabilities, which gives us a few consumer goods factories, production outfit, uh, factory output, dockyard output, just overall not the best. We also have an economic crisis, which is also pretty devastating for our stability. And then we have a neglected military, which with the mobilization speed and the uh, surrender limit is pretty bad. But as national spirits go, it's not the worst. And we have this welfare and warfare balance. Uh, in this game, I'm going to be going all the way to the end, maximum welfare. Is it the best for a World War II simulator? Absolutely not, because I'm just going to be making civilian factories then. But you know what? I'm going to make Denmark the best nation possible. I'm going to provide for our people. I'm going to have maximum welfare, and we're not going to be a military state. Uh, with maximum war welfare, we get a monthly population bonus of plus 20%. We get research speed of 10%, but most importantly, we get a civilian factory construction speed of 20%. I'm going to be stacking bonuses on top of bonuses on top of bonuses for factory building. Okay, we got our first bit of war support. We will continue down and expand the uh, Varner Platon and get 5% more war support. Okay, so we have 26 war support. Um, I do like to continue the paradox. I couldn't even say Danzig properly. What makes you think that I can pronounce Kanslik Guard Dollar Forlig? Uh, but yeah, we're gonna move to this focus. Um, it's going to modify the warfare and welfare system by 10%. Uh, it's also going to modify that Danish industrial goods by getting us back some more consumer goods factories. Uh, and it's going to give us a fairly decent advisor. 
Okay, we have enough political power. We're going to move to partial mobilization. Uh, as Denmark, this is going to be really, really big because we can't move on to war economy until we go to war. So being on partial mobilization by April of 1936 is pretty big. Okay, I'm going to devalue the crown. Uh, this is going to give us a little bit of negative stability. That's rough. Um, but it's going to modify the Danish industrial capabilities by more consumer goods uh, and modify the economic crisis. But most importantly, the economic crisis is going to be removed in about two-ish years time. I'm also going to start boosting my relations with both Britain and Germany because I want to do both of these trade with uh, Britain and Germany focuses so that we can get an extra couple of factories potentially. A good rule of thumb in Hoi4 is if an AI nation has to uh, accept or decline a decision, it's always a good idea uh, to boost your relations with them and hopefully influence uh, the outcome the best you can. There's always a chance they'll say no, but if they say yes, that little boost is very, very good for our economy. So what do you guys think about this new like manufacturing companies? Do you guys like it? Do you guys find it completely unnecessary? I kind of like it. If you really want to boost like a particular thing, for example, like if you're going like I am focusing on tanks, you can make your tanks pretty decent just via research. Okay. And trade with Germany. Okay. Perfect, so the United Kingdom has accepted our trade proposal, giving us one civilian off-map factory, and they get a Danish produce uh, national spirit. This can be upgraded by them, uh, and generally they always do try to uh, increase this via decision, giving you another uh, civilian factory, and they get, you know, an upgraded national spirit. Usually takes between 35 and 70 days for them to uh, ask you to increase the trade. <laughs> yes, boy. My cat's going a little bit nuts right now. Okay, so there's that event to uh, expand the trade deal. Uh, we get an extra civilian factory and the national spirit gets a little bit better. Okay. Now, in my experience, because I've already played a bunch of games as Denmark, a ton of games. I love Denmark. It's my new favorite nation in all of Hoi 4, especially uh, Max Welfare uh, Denmark. I just, I really like it. It's chill, it's relaxing. I kind of feel good about making a social democracy survive the, the evils of Germany and eventually free Europe. But Germany usually says, it's like 50-50, they'll say no, they'll say yes. Uh, it's a lot better when they say yes, but if they say no, it's, it is what it is. Let's get this agricultural uh, subsidies because I really want that extra building slot, but also I want those two max factories and state for Jilland, Jilland, I don't know how, I, I don't know. I don't know, but I want those extra building slots before I move on to my political branch. The Germans have accepted our trade proposal. Yes, Germany, I would love to increase. Please give me that extra civilian factory. Okay, I'm gonna get this captain of industry. Uh, civilian factory construction speed of 10%, not bad. It also moves the welfare balance at 10%. So we are now already at 30%. Okay, it's time to reaffirm our neutrality, get some uh, stability, move that balance onto warfare by 5% and get 100 political power. I like how it says unlocks balance of power decisions, but the decisions are already unlocked. League of Nations issue an embargo on Italy. Yeah, 2% stability, that's good. More uh, political power, more stability. And I'm going to get this industry magnate because civilian factory construction speed of 10%. Yes, please. We are going to get as many boosts as we can. Okay, so this policy of disarmament actually gets rid of 5% of our war support. So I'm going to wait a moment on doing this for the war in China to uh, happen. I'm going to support the farmers. It's going to modify our own Danish produce national spirit, which we have now, uh, thanks to this focus. And it's also going to add that state bonus onto uh, this state right here. This state bonus is pretty good. Civilian factory construction speed 10%. Yeah, like I said, we're going to be uh, really just putting as many bonuses as we can together, building as many factories as we can. I'm going to get this army defense guy for some rolling in army experience. You know what? I'm going to move on to free trade now. Uh, we don't really have any materials anyways, any resources, so 
getting that extra construction speed and research speed is worth it. Okay. Uh, industrial investment. It's going to add that state modifier to uh, Shaland. Shaland. I'm going to get this improved worker conditions. Uh, I really want to get as close to 100 stability as I can before the war breaks out. Just because dealing with that negative 15 stability on top of the at war stability loss is just not something I want to deal with. I don't want strikes. Proved engine and in 190 days we'll be able to start making our type 2 tank. Uh, I'm going to get dispersed to industry too because as we move up on this welfare system it does give us production efficiency and just production debuffs and I don't really want to not be making things so. Ah, nicely done, Amelia. I always feel like this is a good omen whenever uh, whenever Amelia Earhart flies across the globe. I don't know. It gives me a little bit of hope. It gives me a little bit of morale. It's a very, very good, good event to have. Quite an achievement. Nicely done. Okay, public works. So the best thing about getting those state modifiers is actually that 10% construction speed for civilian factories. So... Now, whenever we are making factories on this state, I guess this state too, right? So this is all the bonuses that we're getting so far, and we can get more. We're going to be making civilian factories so quickly. And let's connect the islands. Uh, this is going to give us one infrastructure in each of our little states here. Okay, I'm also going to expand this welfare system. Uh, it's going to move the balance of power 20% uh, towards welfare and it's going to modify the Danish industrial capabilities by consumer goods factories, negative 10%. Uh, if you don't know, Paradox changed how the consumer goods work. You can no longer get below 10%, um, but it's a lot easier to get to that 10%. I'm on post partial mobilization and we're already at 21%. So, not bad, not bad. Oh, end of the crisis years. So we've lost that horrible, horrible uh, debuff. It has been the two years. We are heading in the right direction. Modify the Danish industries. It's now at negative 35 consumer goods and our people only expect 15%. We're also now on medium welfare spending. So we're going to be making civilian factories a little bit faster. Well, Britain and France are anticipating war. I'm just trying to better the lives of my civilians, of my citizens, of my people. Okay, 30%, let's do the policy of disarmament. Okay, 1938 tank chassis is done. This isn't the best tank you can make, it's very slow, but it does have high reliability. The soft attack isn't bad. Armor is pretty good. Uh, breakthrough is decent. Yeah, it's this isn't the worst tank you can make. Okay, social stability, and then we're going to build the national motorway. Uh, motor Vige, Vige, Vige? Uh, but Basically, that's just going to give infrastructure in the same states as the other infrastructure was uh, placed in, giving us 100% boosting building speed. Uh, you know what? I'm going to start making my army, and to do that, I'm just going to start by buying guns from everyone that I can. Belgium, Ireland, we're also almost at 100% stability. Uh, the Anschluss of Austria has just occurred. War is going to happen in about a year and a half, give or take. I'm going to move on to limited conscription. Um, more manpower is always a good idea. I like that uniform. I also like this dude just wearing his plain clothes with, what is he, a trans ally? Good for him. I'm going to go with this cool dude. He's like a confederate Frenchman. Okay, I'm going to expand the institute for the... Yeah. Paradox, you gotta name these focuses a little, a little easier for us. I don't think you guys realize that the vast majority of us are just so stupid. Uh, I just want to quickly move all the way to high welfare spending, so. Ah, oh, man, we're so close. We're at 90 which means we're probably just at like 89.9 or something like that. It's not even possible. I should be on this one now. I guess once I get some more political power, then I can ban all political uniforms, I guess. I'm gonna upgrade my anti-air for this anti-air bombing damage reduction. Uh, it's gonna be a good idea to keep researching anti-air for a good while. 
Also, we are now at 7.7 .7 guns. Definitely not enough. So let's keep buying them. Uh, 2,000 guns from the uh, Belgians. More Irish guns. And let's get some radio detection because I want to build some radar. I'm going to shoot down the entire German Air Force just as aggressively as I can. Okay, we are finally on max welfare. We are a true social democracy. New companies have been established. Modify the Danish industrial capabilities. Negative 10 consumer goods. Always appreciated. Our civilians expect only 11%. One more percent and we can't go down anymore. I'm going to start working on my military just a little bit. Um, well, yes, we are producing tanks. We're just not producing them fast enough. Ooh, 13,000 guns. Uh, we still have a little bit of time. So let's buy some more. We'll buy from the Dutch as well. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do this with Portland Cement Plant. This is going to improve this, the construction company, by adding 10 plus construction speed, which I do like. Look at that. We have 18,000 guns in stockpile. Let's get some anti-air, some anti-tank, artillery. We are cutting it very, very close. Um, I need to buy my t artillery. I need to buy support equipment and anti-air as well as anti-tank whenever I can. I need to start working on my defenses. Uh, I need to start working on anti-air installations. We have a little bit less than a year. Yeah, I'm also gonna do this. Uh, it's gonna unlock the decision to deploy the home guard in Denmark, which are quite good. Uh, it's also gonna modify that national spirit, which gives us core defense. Uh, defense on core territory by plus 5%. Uh, for my spirits of the army, I'm going to get static warfare, professional army corps, and bold attack. It gives a chance for adding an attack for our generals uh, whenever they upgrade, so I always like getting that. Eric here is a pretty good general. I'm going to give him this defensive doctrine for more max entrenchment, and he'll be my main uh, field marshal. Then we're going to get Frederick, and for my port guards, I always like to get Charles just because he's an old guard, which gives max entrenchment and that leader experience gain doesn't really matter uh, because he's just being a port guard. I don't expect him to get much experience. I'm going to do this focus because it creates an intelligence agency completely for free and gives us an extra uh, operative so we can have three operatives without actually spending anything on our spy agency. We're looking a lot better when it comes to pretty much everything. Uh, we need more anti-air for sure. Sport equipment should be fine but I might want to buy some more. Yeah, so here's what the home guard look like. Uh, it takes 10 days. Election campaign planning, democracy or chaos. We will not fall to the chaos of Europe, to the chaos of the Germans. I'm also gonna get this trench warfare. Yeah, we need as much entrenchment as possible. So far we're at 52%, not bad. Let's keep it civil. We're a social democracy after all. Everyone's opinion is valued, um, as long as it's democratic. Level five, level five. Uh, we need more anti-air. I think I want to buy more anti-tank, more artillery. Now, why why in the world would I want to get rid of this leader? Thorvald Stowning. I don't know if I even pronounced his name right. But let's say I did. Uh, Mr. Santa Claus here is the perfect leader. He is going to weather the storm with our people. So we shall keep him. And he shall keep us from the chaos. Uh, I just noticed that I have an airfield. Uh, that I have an Air Force. I don't need any of those fighters. Yeah, I should have sold this earlier in the game, but let's sell these and hopefully someone tries to buy them. Oh, USA already wants to buy 10 of them and let's hope someone else buys the other. Okay, let's keep on this anti-air. Uh, the static anti-air damage factor, 10 plus percent is nice. We have gotten our spy agency with two spies. Yeah, I'm gonna get this elusive gentleman so I can get another spy. I'm cutting it way too closely okay there we go I, I have a little bit of experience so i'm gonna get medium tank medium tank medium tank medium tank and one infantry yeah that's a fine start okay i am going to yeah, i'm gonna add an anti-tank and i'm gonna see if anyone has any anti-tank for sale again usually sweden does yeah there you go Sweden, I will buy your anti-tank and anti-air. 
Do we still have some factories? Yeah, 14. So these 14 factories will continue to build our defenses. Um, nice, we get a bunch of seducers available. I love getting seducers. Seducers won't get caught as much. Uh, I wanna get a nice full spy web over Germany. World War II has just kicked off. We have between 70 and 100 days before Germany goes to war with us. Our stability is awesome. Our war support is a little bit low, but I'm not too concerned. We need to keep saving our political power. Okay, so this is what our logistics are looking like. Um, really, the only thing we're missing is trains. And in 13 days, I can just... Nice, another seducer. Okay, I'm gonna put you over, Hessen. Look at that web. So if you guys don't know, spies are overpowered. Uh, they do multiple things. One, they give you intel over a country so that when you click on it, you go to the intel ledger. I don't have very good intel right now, but you can kind of see what's going on in Germany. Uh, if you have over 70%, you can see even what focus they're doing. It's really, really strong. But the best part about spies is this effect that they have once they have a full spy web. Right now, it's only at 24, so the effect isn't as good, but you can kind of see what it's going for. Uh, for me, I get an invasion defense of plus 22% and a planning speed of plus 11% against Germany. Uh, the effects that Germany gets, max planning, 22%, negative 22%. Max entrenchment, negative 1.1. When this goes to 100%, then you get a invasion defense of 100%, max planning speed of 50%. Uh, Germany gets a negative max planning factor of negative 100 and max entrenchment of negative five. That is really, really good. Okay, the forts have been built. Germany is now uh, justifying a war goal against us. I'm gonna do this Commodore civilian trains. It does take some stability, but that is what it is. I'm gonna get this railway gun because I think I'm gonna to wanna to build a railway gun if I can afford it. Okay, the Germans just declared war on us. This is the event that I was talking about, fight or fold. Even though we explicitly declared ourselves neutral, war has come to Denmark. We may yet protect the people from the horrors of war if we yield early on and surrender. And this way we can obtain favorable concessions and continue to operate semi-independently. We cannot win this fight. Uh, and then we become a puppet of Germany. We'll keep our current government form, but we'll be a puppet of Germany. Or we can stand and fight. We lose a lot of stability, but that's worth it. We're going to stay and fight. I'm going to deploy the home guard starting in this tile because I want to make sure that I get that first. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. If we can hold out for 10 days, uh, we get some pretty good defensive bonuses. I'm going to go to service by requirement. And then once I can, you know, I'll move on to war economy. Ha! So the war has interrupted the German trade. They're going to lose that nice Danish produce modifier. Iceland has declared neutrality. They break away from us. Very annoying, but it is what it is. What's funny though is, yeah, so you get two civilian factories from Germany for doing that focus as long as they expand the trade. Um, but something that's funny is when they lose the trade, you only lose one civilian factory. You still get to keep that extra one. Very handy, very nice. Ooh, the Germans are stacking the border. I'm a little bit scared. To be honest, I'm very scared. Keep researching this. Uh, we need to upgrade our anti-air the best that we can. Right now, the Germans, the German Air Force and German Army is very much distracted in uh, France. So if I can finish upgrading this anti-air, that'll help protect us by quite a lot. Luxembourg has capitulated. So the Germans so far aren't really attacking us. Uh, I don't know if it's because they are very distracted in France or if it's because our spy net is high enough that the Germans now just don't see it as worth it because they're not getting any planning bonus. This is insane. Look at look at all of this that these allies are sending that the allies are sending me. Okay, I'm just gonna force play these two tanks. I want to be fully ready. Uh, I'm just gonna exercise them off to the side though. I don't want the Germans to really think that this is a great opportunity for them. Paris has fallen. I want to get them to at least trained, just so I don't have to worry about that. France has capitulated. Okay, 
I see what's happening. The German armor has arrived. In my experience, the German AI really only attacks this one tile here. The reason for that actually is very, very obvious. It's because they have two tiles bordering this one tile versus only one tile bordering this tile. So they think that, hmm, this is a better place to attack. Uh, so we can use that to our advantage, let our units reorg here and reshuffle into this tile. We're gonna dig in and hopefully with the amount of spies that we have, if one spy gets caught, we can continue our spy net. I would start building more of my spy, spy agency, um, but I really wanna just get as much anti-air as I can. As you can see, the Germans are bombing us pretty heavily. Let's get some more port guards. So far we don't have any naval invasion threats, but it does happen pretty often in this game. Railway gun is done. Okay, the Germans attacked us for a half a second and they stopped because, well, honestly, I don't know. Uh, I could do total mobilization, but like I said earlier, it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's move just to war economy and leave it at that. We are at the bare minimum that we can get for consumer goods. We have a full maximum welfare spending. We're holding the Germans. Uh, they did try to attack us a little bit, but they gave up very quickly. So let's just sit here and build our forces. See if we can't push across this river. Probably should have upgraded some kind of marine division. I think I'm going to make this a 30 width. Probably something like that. Give us a good amount of HP, organization. 53 armor isn't bad. Breakthrough is really high up. Soft attack is amazing. So what I'm planning to do is add a couple more tanks and infantry. Try to make it a 35 width. And I can have two attacking uh, at the same time. I do plan to make two more tank divisions, so. Here's that naval invasion. Our port guard are handling the situation. Uh, actually, I'm going to do the low equipment priority. Um, if I lose any tanks, I would rather them go to these two divisions instead of these two. But once this is done, we'll just uh, deploy it. Okay, the Italian invasion has been repelled. I am going to get a maintenance company. Anti-air. Sport anti-tank. Let's check how our anti-air is doing. So they're getting a little bit of damage on us. But we're shooting between three and seven it looks like keep shooting them down let's go let's keep this party going shall we uh let's get some radar also let's keep upgrading this anti-air look at that anti-air bombing damage reduction negative two percent uh and air attack plus ten percent also gonna get this grand battle plan uh max planning is always good soviet german trade agreement okay i guess that the Germans aren't going to be coming for us, so let's exercise our tanks again. Oh, that is hilarious. As soon as I removed my tanks, they attacked and spasmed out. But that's fine. Our soldiers... I don't even know if it's fair to call that held out, but... Okay, so I have a little bit of political power that I can spare, so I'm going to get this construction company, which is going to boost construction speed by plus 10%, and that is always appreciated. Uh, I am going to build some more port guards. I can only afford seven. We do need more anti-tank, so let's see if uh, Sweden is selling. What do we got, Sweden? Toad anti-tank. Decent amount of anti-air as well. Seven deliveries? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay, so we definitely need more manpower. Uh, and a couple of good ways to do that is to go limited social mobilization, uh, which gives a recruitable population factor of, how much is it, where is it? Plus 20%. And then we can also do uh, agricultural reinvestments, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this, which gets rid of a little recruitable population factor because I want that 12 uh, oil uh, so we can start fueling our tanks. I am going to do this limited industry regulations um, and move down very slowly. Yeah, we are just eviscerating the German uh, bombers. We do need some more trains. 
might actually be a good idea to start producing some. Uh, this might not be the smartest thing to do right now, but I am going to commandeer some more trains. We were starting to run low, but we're good now. Germans are attacking us. That is the end of their assault. Fair enough, Germany. Fair enough. Okay, once I have this hundred tanks, uh, I think I'm going to want to try maybe pushing onto this tile. Uh, four medium tanks might be able to push this. I'll definitely wait till summer or spring, though. I don't want to be fighting in the snow. Okay, there we go. Our little slice of heaven is now safe. We have conscripted almost half, uh, almost a quarter, over a quarter of a million people, over a quarter of a million Danes. We got our two more medium tanks. Let's org up and see what these bad boys can do. Oh, uh, Germans are doing a full assault against me apparently. Yeah, we're gonna side with the industry. I'm sorry to my people. Let's see if I can't push. Yeah, we're not going to be able to push the Germans. At least not yet. That's fine. We'll just sit here. We'll rebuild strength for our tanks. The tree's looking good. Okay, limited uh, mobilization. It's going to give us some recruitable population. It'll also give us some stability and war support, which I am a big fan of. Unfortunately, we are going to just keep getting more and more consumer goods, so it might actually be a good idea to move on to total mobilization or change out one of these guys for a, uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I think I'm going to need to buy some more guns. We're running awfully low. I will buy 12,000 guns from you, Sweden, of course. Six deliveries? That's fine. I accept. Germans are... Our spazzing out against our lines are we deorging them that fast is that what it is no right what the hell is even happening what new ai strategy is this did they even lose any manpower Forty-eight thousand against us i guess so what am i even watching the british have landed in rome they have taken a port. Hopefully they can hold it. I'm almost tempted to send my tanks over there. Well, glad I temporarily didn't. Germans really don't want to lose uh, Schleswig. Schleswig? Schleswig. They've just, they've stacked so many units on our border, but at least it's giving the British time to uh, expand in Italy. Also, we got a German naval invasion incoming. Uh, yeah. War is going to be over fairly soon. I should join the British faction and then ask for Rome from them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to prevent allied supply because I don't want any allied troops over here. I'm kind of doing my own thing. Okay. And then like the horrible, horrible person that I am, I am going to beg and ask them if they will give me Rome. Well, I guess whenever... You have full control over it. Did I not see it? Ask for control of state. Lazio. And they accepted. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't leave. Don't leave. Uh, it was a joke. It was a joke. I'm going to give it back to you. You keep your troops there. And once the civil war is about to pop off, I will be asking for, uh, for the state. If you were unaware, if you ask for the uh, capital of Italy, Rome, uh, before they have their silly little civil war, and you know how like half becomes your puppet and the half becomes just a darker version of Italy, uh, you get the puppet. Very nice, right? Japan has declared war on the Dutch East Indies, which means that the US will be joining our faction soon. Uh, modernize the agricultural machinery and then industrial reinvestments and then I can do North Sea drilling. Curious that the Germans waited till now to attack me when my tanks just showed up. I wonder if I can leave the faction whenever I want. I can't. That's fine. 
because I like leaving the faction, the British faction, and joining uh, Ethiopia's, and then just taking it over. Not really seeing too much progress in uh, Italy. Once we see that event for, uh, ooh, okay, this is big. This is big. Come on, UK. Come on, baby. Hell yeah. I love that. Let's go. Keep spreading out. Mussolini will be uh, gone soon. And then we'll have, hopefully, an Italian puppet. The Danish Empire will grow one way or another. Also, they became a puppet of the United Kingdom. Those traitors. Italy should be uh, getting rid of Mussolini any minute. So I think... I'm gonna ask for that state now. And just... Let the UK keep expanding. Bold move by the Bulgarians. It's fine. They're gonna be conquered pretty soon. Uh, Germany's making some progress into the Soviet Union. Not much, but they're making some. France, you have no supply. What are you even doing here? Also, I wonder. So the Allies have their airfield, air, well, they did have their air force over here. So the Allies have their air force over here. Uh, you know what I should build? How many tanks do we have? 35? We actually have a pretty decent amount. You know what I'm gonna build? I'm gonna build a fucking railway gun. Just one. And yes, I'm gonna buy the chromium for it from Sweden. And I'm gonna buy the tungsten from Sweden as well. Come on, Italy. Crack like an egg. I guess we can get a fortress buster for now. Hopefully he's, uh, yeah, he's working on Panzer Leader right now. You two join those six. It's gonna need a decent amount of fuel, to be honest. And let's hit Holstein. Or this is uh, Schleswig, actually. Let's hit Schleswig pretty hard. Okay, so that's definitely doable. If only this would finish up uh, in an appropriate time. And now Iceland is a puppet of the US. Iceland, I'm just gonna say it. You are a slut. I am slut shaming you. First you were mine. Also, what is this? Oh, uh, it's Norway. First you were mine, Iceland, and then you were the UK's and now we were with some other big strong man. How dare you? How dare you replace me? How dare you betray me? So we can definitely take that. Um, I'm just gonna sit back for a second and wait for this to be done. I also th think that I'm going to s maybe spread my tanks out a little bit. Um, apparently the Germans don't have any spies in my country. I don't believe that for a second. Oh, look at that. We are sh actually shredding them. We are shredding them. Look at that. God, my tanks are just so good. Can you guys pin? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We did it. There's nothing as strong as Danish armor. Uh, I really want to try to outrun my lack of fuel. I mean, I could buy more. Okay, I do think I can push through that, but I'm just gonna hold for now. Um, actually, I might even just fall back my tanks a bit and see if I can't, can't bait the Germans into attacking this tile. We are also very low on train still, so let's do this. Okay, our railway gun is done. Let's move that bad boy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be in control of this. Let's move that bad boy down to the front lines. Railway gun one isn't a very good name. What should we name this gun? There, we were able to do it. We baited the Germans. Uh, I really want them to keep just going after me. It actually looks like they might be out of manpower. Four million, holy shit, Germany. Yeah, they're not doing too good. Their war in Russia is just 
looking bad for them. Also, looks like Italy has uh, broken out. Okay, let's bring the tanks over and let's do this again. Now that we have this big fucking gun, along with the American Air Force, this shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, okay, so I guess that means we do need to end up buying some fuel from the Soviet Union. Who can I buy from that's not going to ship it? Damn, everyone. Okay, well, I ain't got the common voice for that, so this assault's going to have to stop until I've got fuel. We'll just hold here for now. Ah, long live Santa Claus. And now we get some dude that looks like a vampire from what we do in the shadows. Man, I wanted to keep Santa Claus this whole game. Looks like the British are making some ground again. They've retaken Rome. Yeah, so I'm just gonna wait till Mussolini gets to spot. He just got disposed. Deposed? Disposed. Deposed. Either way, I'm gonna be asking for Lazio once again. The Italians are pushing the British back. So this is the main issue with uh, requesting land. Uh, all your allies will just immediately abandon it because they're like, oh, this is no longer British land. It's so very annoying, but we still control Rome. So hopefully when the civil war fires, it'll be our puppet still. Okay, I'm fairly certain it's not my, it is because I still controlled Rome. You love to see it. I'm just gonna let my own little autonomous puppet kind of do its own thing. It's nice though that it's our puppet. We are only building our influence across Europe as a very democratic uh, Denmark with full maximum welfare spending and a very big gun. Oh, we could so push through this. We could easily push down to Hamburg. God, that is so frustrating. Let's do some improved worker conditions. Uh, let's bring that stability back up. It's not too low, to be honest. Um, okay, in eight days, we should be able to get that fuel. North Sea drilling, let's go. Okay, this is gonna add one synthetic refinery, but most importantly, it's gonna add 12 fuel. Uh, it might be a good idea to get off free trade now, right? Let's go on to limited exports. We won't be building these military uh, civilian factories as quickly, but honestly, we have a pretty good production. Might as well start producing these refineries, right? Okay, our tanks, our tank numbers are back up. So really, once this focus is done and we get our fuel, we can start assaulting the Germans with our, uh, with our very heavy armor. Uh, the Romanian lines are failing. Looks like the Soviets were able to get pretty nice naval invasion here Greece has come back Yugoslavia is very barely uh, coming out of the ground with a uh, Peter the second Hungary has proclaimed greater Germany uh, has proclaimed greater Hungary yeah, I agree they're a bit full of themselves Hungary do you not see the situation around you Germany tries to keep breaking through this line. These guys are pretty good. You got an anti-tank, anti-air artillery, uh, support anti-air, support artillery. Not bad. Not the strongest division. Look at that. Just got so many various random equipment. Uh, it's not the best, but especially since Germany just has no strength, it's pretty decent. Also, I just watched the Polish fleet get destroyed by the Germans. I'm just watching my convoys get sunk by the Germans. Run, my babies, run. I guess they didn't run. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop getting fuel now, um, just from the UK, because this focus is nearly done and one of my refineries is done. Democracy or chaos? Okay, we're also going to prospect new sites inside Greenland. This is going to give us a decent amount of uh, steel, chromium, and tungsten inside Greenland. You know what? Let's see if our economy can uh, survive using a whole bunch of tanks. I think it can. We are keeping a net positive for our fuel gain. Uh, it just went down. That's fine. That is more than fine. Keep it civil. Keep it civil. You know what, I will pin you guys 
with these two battalions or these two army groups and that should allow us to very quickly steamroll through this tile and go to uh kyle keel Ooh, nice streamlined one year ahead forming a new government yeah let's stay social democrat keep on force attacking we will eventually break through these lines of the germans Uh, eventually I'll break through. Okay, and that should do it. Uh, I don't want the Germans to retreat a whole bunch of troops. You stay there. So, let's see if I can't push onto one of these tiles. River crossings really are the worst. Come on, come on, come on. The Germans don't have any troops there yet. They're rushing this tank. Ah, they got it done. We're just not getting enough supply and fuel down here. Um... Which is crazy because we own this, but whatever. Let's pull our tanks back and eventually we'll get more trucks in, which will better our supply. I wonder if anyone else is selling uh, as many trucks as Sweden was. Sweden is still selling more trucks. So let's push the Germans off this tile at the bare minimum. Okay, there we go. We're producing a pretty good amount of uh, everything. Because of our extraction efforts, uh, our steel is now up to 60. You know, things are looking up for the Danish army. And speaking of that, I'm going to move on to mobile warfare. Mobile warfare. Uh, is it smart? Probably not. Do I care? Absolutely not. Let's see if I can't break into this middle tile. The Germans very stupidly left it uh, very undefended. If the Allies were to do a D-Day, this would be the perfect opportunity. Uh, a lot of the German army is down over in northern Italy and the Balkans, uh, or in just Russia, and then a little chunk over near Denmark, but they could they could probably push through this seawall fairly easily. God, I hate pushing over rivers. It's one of the most like miserable things that you can do. You get such horrible debuffs to your stats. Also it says we're exceeding the combat width. That's because we have three divisions in there. And there's only supposed to be two at a time. Yeah, I'll, ha I'll have to fix that and make these 35 widths. Come on, tanks, break through. Do, 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 do. Ooh, whose fighter is that? That is nice. Look at that. Keep pushing over this river crossing. We will make it, brothers. Ugh, I'm going to have to force attack my infantry. This is going to cause a lot of losses for me. Uh... But if I can break over this stupid little river crossing, it will unfortunately be very worth it. If you guys want to know like how hard it is to make a river crossing, there's a game that I highly suggest. It's called Foxhole. It's a very, very amazing game. Basically, it's a world war. Uh, there's, well, I guess it's not really a world war, but it's a war between two sides that encompasses an entire like world, essentially. Um, the players make everything from the guns to the ammo to the the things that you use to make the ammo, the buildings, just everything is player made. It's an incredible game, uh, but one of the just most annoying things in it is river crossings. You can have two men hold off an army of six tanks and 30 infantry troops with ease. There was one time it was literally just me and I held off probably 30 or 40 people. They didn't have any tanks, uh, but I held them off until more people spawned in and started fighting back too. And that just shows the, the devastation of, of river crossings. It's just, it really is a pain to take. In Hoi 4, it is very realistic how hard it is to take a river crossing. I don't think of myself as someone that glorifies war, right? I think that the horrors of war are pretty obvious, but the biggest horror is fucking river crossings. Oh my fucking god oh we did it we did it joe we did it okay come on come on come on yes okay this this is beautiful we will destroy these encirclements let's move our very big gun over 
so that he can give some support to our uh, tanks. Beautiful. Germany, your time is coming. Your your time is coming. Oh, 10 dockyards. Holy shit, Germany. So I'm going to move away from a military governor and do local autonomy. I do intend to take these states in the peace conference. Just want to make sure you're still my puppet. God, I... I love watching Germans just get stack wiped. Look at this. Look at Denmark. Look at us. Guys, this is this feels really good. Germany doesn't have long. I didn't even need these Marines. I just had to sacrifice a whole lot of Danish people. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Um, so let's think about this, right? We don't have a very large army. That's just number one. We don't have a very large army, so we can't really do too much. Now, it would be nice to maybe take Lubeck. I am going to start allowing allied forces to come in because I'm just going to be using my tanks. And I think I would like British and American assistance at holding my front lines. But let's move our tanks over and let's go straight for Lubeck. Okay, Lubeck is ours. Let's take this airfield, see if we can't hinder the uh, German Air Force more. I do want to take Rostock. Yeah, we'll slowly choke them out. Germany, you can't pierce my tanks. Also, you're just pushing out these units. This guy has no experience. You know it's bad for Germany when uh, they're just forced deploying things. Also, finish off this infantry. Uh, hello, Berlin. Oh, Berlin has fallen to the Danish troops, to the Danish armor. Panzer expert, beautiful. And infantry expert, yes, please. Okay. Since he's a panzer expert, we can now get an armor specialist for our high command. Once we have enough uh, command power. We have been spamming out that last stand. Haha, uh -huh, Germany got uh, encircled. Oh! Damn. Well, that f fucking sucked. Uh, we have a Danish tank that is now surrounded. You know what, yeah. Let's see if we can't make some gains over here. The liberation of Warsaw. Look, it's not liberation if it's the Soviet Union. Oh, haha, ha, Germany, get, get fucked. Oh, good God, that was close. Let's destroy this uh, encircled division. I guess it's time to go to all adult surf. Let's see if we can't keep this party moving. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Close the trap. Let's uh, secure these borders as best we can. Don't let the don't let any Germans retreat. You know, encirclements feel so much better when you're a very tiny nation. You just sat there most of the war, uh, not being able to do anything, just barely surviving, and then suddenly you're able to take, just make these massive, beautiful pushes. Playing as a miner is just it's very very worth it in a way for. Uh, not a, not enough people do it. Uh, I need my tanks moving. <laughs> oh, nice nice nice. Though this isn't nice. Um, once I clean this up, I'm going to have to rush my tanks down south. Come on. Oh, shoot. Germans all across my line are making massive pushes. If I can finish destroying this Yalta conference. Oh, it's because they are actually making a lot more progress since the second I looked at them. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, so... Uh, Looks like the German assault is starting to slow down. 
Uh, once you stop, I will start pushing from the other side. Nice, Hanover has been retaken. Uh, the Soviets are about to line up with me and that's gonna make things a lot easier for me. I think I can fall back my tanks now that, for the most part, my... You know what, no, I'm gonna wait a moment for my infantry to actually line up and take that airfield so that I can get all of them. Ah, it's because they conquered Siam. Okay, I was confused why there was a much bigger giant Malaya. Okay, let's reorg for our tanks. Get back the equipment that we need. Okay, Italy's gonna give us uh, garrison manpower. 223, which we don't need all that, but it's, it's a very, very decent amount. Only having 3% war score is maddening. I'll probably be able to take these two tiles and that's it. I mean, I did get Italy, so that's nice. You know what? I will buy your balls, Sweden. Thank you for offering them to me. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna take Leipzig. Oh, we are so close to Leipzig. Come on. Nice, we have taken Leipzig. Oh my lord. Germany has lost 10.5 million. They alone have lost more than the Allies. Soviet Union, oof. Well, I mean, you've lost half that Germany has, so. I guess it could be worse. I guess it could be worse. Nice! Nuremberg has been taken. It's probably a good idea to get a railway going on in here. Come on, we're so close to encircling this German army group. We're so close. So close. Uh, more organization for my tanks? Of course. Why would I say no to that? We might make it. We made it. Does... Yeah, they are encircled. Um, so I have a feeling that the Soviets will get most of this, so let's see if we can cut the line and then use our tanks to clean up all this. Okay, we have cut this encirclement in half. So let's, uh, let's clean it up. Nice. Okay, we've cleaned up that one little section. Not too shabby. Oh, the Germans are so close to capitulation. Fuck you, Soviets. That is annoying. Did they get the kills for that too? They did. Boo. Might be able to make something happen over here. Oh, Germany just fell. Man, I'm not gonna get my million kills on the Germans. Full-on assault. Just... Full-on assault. It's not gonna take long for us to completely wipe them out. Yeah, look at- look at their- they're not losing org because they're on uh, last stand, but they're losing so much infantry equipment. You guys don't stand a chance against my tanks. This is the finest of Danish engineering. There we go, that should end it. I said that should end it. That doesn't end it. 
That ended it. So we have a British occupation zone. Uh, Hitler is still alive. We have a Danish occupation zone. I was able to take Schleswig and Holstein, return those to their rightful Danish owners. Uh, we do have a Soviet occupation zone as well. Yeah, the Soviets took most of the Balkans. We are still at war with Finland. Yeah, when I take this little city, give it to me. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do, yeah, look at that. Finland is still alive because they kept contesting me for it. Paradox. Maybe do something about that. Well, I guess that's it. This was a pretty successful historical, well, mostly historical, Danish Democrat, social democratic run. We defeated the Germans. We got an Italian puppet. We have a small occupation zone, which is saving us from the horrors of the West and the East's inevitable war. Uh, we returned the two uh, provinces that were stolen from us. We have puppeted most of Finland, oh, a, a good portion of Finland. Not bad, not bad at all. We also have a magnificent fleet, all while on full welfare. Yeah, so I guess that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day.